Hello, welcome to Mass Class. My name is Ulu Jimmy Gabriel. We'll be talking about solid this morning again. Last time we talked about solid, how you can open up a solid to give you the net. And we talked about what is edge, vertex, and face. And today we'll be talking about volume. But before we move straight into the topic, here are the objectives. By the end of this topic, you should be able to express volume of solid in appropriate unit. We have centimeter, we have meter cube, then we have liter. Two, calculate the volume of cuboid and cubes. Express the capacity of container in appropriate unit. Calculate the capacity of simple containers. And lastly, volume of triangular prism. Now, what is volume? The volume of a solid is a measure of the space it takes up. Now, for instance, when I have a cube of this nature, look at where it is now, it has occupied space. Now, the, vol the cube is used as the basic shape, basic unit of volume. Cube is used as the shape for the basic unit for volume. Last, when we are dealing with area, we use square as the basic unit. But now, we will be counting the number of cube that is contained in a particular shape or solid. Now, a cube of edge 1 meter has a volume of 1 meter cube, that is 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter will be equals to 1 meter cube. Take for instance, this side is 1, this side is 1. You know for a cube, all the sides are equal. Now, when you multiply all them the together, we have 1 meter cube. The same thing is when we have one centimeter, you can see we can always have our unit in meter cube or centimeter cube. Now, it is difficult to measure volume directly, but we can count the number of cube in a solid to give us the actual volume of that shape. Now, look at, we have two layers of cubes arranged on each other. Now, how many cubes can we find in this picture? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means we have 6 cubes. That means it is equal to 6 centimeter cube. Let's assume we are dealing with centimeter cube. On the first row too, we have 6 centimeter cube. By the time you sum together, we have 12 centimeter cube. That is, we have 12 cubes in this solid which correspond to 12 centimeter cube which is the volume of this shape another one is here by the time you count the number of cube you find on the first row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 the first row we have 16 let's be dealing with meter cube now because we have used meter cube in the first instant now on this row too we still have the same thing all these they are regular shape 16 meter cube when you sum together you have 48 meter cube the number of cube you find you have here correspond to the volume of this shape now unit of volume the cubic meter, that is meters cube, is the basic unit of volume. Recall, one meter equals to 100 centimeter. Now, take for instance, when we are now multiplying this one meter in three places. When we have cube, it means, when we have anything to the power 3, it means m times m times m. That's why we have 100 times 100 times 100 because we said 1 meter equals 1 centimeter cube which is equals to 1 million centimeter cube 
Similarly, 1 cm equals to 10 mm. By the time we substitute for them here, we have 1000 mm cube. Now, when calculating problem about volume, make sure all dimensions are in the same unit. For instance, let's say we have 5 cm times 4 cm times 3 cm. You can see everything are in the same unit. Not that you have 5 meter here, you now have 4 cm here, you now have 3 mm here. You can see they are not the same again. You have to make sure everything are in the same unit before you can multiply them to get your volume. Now, the first thing you look at is the volume of cuboid. Now, this is one face. Now, in the shape of rectangle, this side is the length, this side is the breadth. Now, this is the upper face. At this lower face is also a rectangle. You can see the distance between the upper face and the lower face is what we call height or thickness. Some call it width. It's still the same thing. The distance between the two faces, you can see this face and the lower face are the same. Just multiply one face by the height or thickness. It will give you volume. That's why we have it here. Length times breadth times height to give us volume. Or length times breadth, that is area of base. Let's say we are using the base, for example. Area of base times height. Or area of this face times what? What will be remaining? Length. Or area of side face, area of this face. Because this base will be length and height, then breadth will be remaining. Depending on which side you are using. If you are using this side, it will be area of this face times the thickness between this face and this face. Now, volume of cube. You know, cube have the same side. All sides are equal. Like you can find in dice. All the face and side are equal. Now, to now find the volume, area of this face times the thickness, which is also the side. But because everything is the same, we just use side times side times side, which is S times S times S equals to S raised to power 3. Note, S times S times S is not 3S. It is S raised to power 3. It is when you are doing addition, you can have three X. Example one. Calculate the volume of rectangular box, which measure 30 centimeter by 15 centimeter by 10 centimeter. Now, this is the length. This is the breadth. This is the height. By the time you multiply everything together, you have 4,000 centimeter cube that is that example two a rectangular room four meter by three meter wide contains 30 meter cube of air calculate the height of the room now this contain 30 meter cube of air. It means the volume of the room is 30 meter cube. But we have been given the, the rectangular, is a rectangular room that looks like this. That means we have to find the area of the floor. This area of the floor is also the area of the ceiling. But we can also call it base. Now, 4 times 3 equals to 12 meter cube now to now find the height of the room you now divide volume by the height area of the floor which is 30 divided by 12 which is equals to 2 whole number 1 all over 2 is 
as simple as that. You can see, we know that volume equals to length times breadth times height. But one is missing. The height is missing. That means we have to calculate, we have been given the length and breadth. Then we calculate this is 30 equals to 12 times h. Then divide 30 by 12. You have your answer. Now, capacity of containers. Capacity of a container is measure is the measure of the space inside it. You know, volume, we are talking about the space it contains. Now, capacity, we are talking about the inside, what it can contain, what it can hold. And the basic unit of capacity is liter. Now, one liter of water will just fill a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. Therefore, in practice, now look at this box now. The height is 10 centimeter. This side is 10 centimeter, and this side is also 10 centimeter. By the time you multiply, we have 1000 cm cube. That is, 1 liter equals to 1000 cm cube. Now, look at this table that shows the relationship between unit of capacity and volume. Now, kiloliter. One kiloliter, when we say kilo, it means 1,000. This K has been represented with 1,000. Kilo means 1,000. That is, 1,000 liter equals to 1 million centimeter cube which is one meter cube and one liter like i said before equals to one thousand cm cube and milliliter one milliliter equals to 0 0.001 liter which is equals to one cm cube now look at this example how many liter of water does a 5 meter by 4 meter by 3 meter tank hold? That means this is the length, this is the breadth, and the height is what? 4. Let's quickly draw it out. Now. Let's say this is, this is the tank. This side is 5, this side is 4, and the height is 3. Now, the first thing to do is find the volume. You now convert the volume to liter. Because we have just shown here the relationship between volume and capacity. And this is the volume. But we know that from here, 1 meter cube equals to 1,000 liter 1 meter cube equals to 1000 liter because we are not dealing with centimeter cube so we are dealing with what meter cube 1 meter cube equals to 1000 liter now when we now have 60 cm cube it will be what in liters that means you multiply that 60 by 1000 because we are converting meter cube to liter 10 times 60 times 1000 will be equals to 60,000 liters. Just first of all, find your volume, then convert from meter cube to liter. You just multiply your meter cube by 1000. You have your answer. Now, volume of right angle triangular prism. Look at this figure very well. We have a rectangular box. Just like the way we get, we find our right angle triangle in a rectangular shape. By the time you cut along this line, this is what you will be having. 
you have gotten a prism out. Now, the area of this, or the volume of this shape, to get this, you divide this by 2. To get the area, this is what you will have now. By the time you cut along the diagonal. Now, look at. The volume of this is equals to length times breadth times height. By the time you now want to get the volume of this out, you divide this by 2. That's why we are now having the volume of a triangular, a right angle triangular prism. Now, the volume of prism equals to area of end face times height. The area of this face times this height. Or you can use the lower face times this height. That's why we have 1 over 2 times LB times height. This is length. This is the breadth. That is the formula to calculate a volume of triangular prism. Example. Calculate the volume of the prism. Look at. This is the end face that we are looking for. The length. This is the length. This is the breadth. Now, this is the height. This is you can see these two faces are the same. The distance between them is what we call the height. Now, you now multiply everything together and divide by 2. This side, multiply by this side and this side divided by 2. That is why we have it here. 18 times 12 times 9 divided by 2. 1 over 2 times 18 times 12 times 9. 2 year 1, 2 year 9. 9 times 9 equals to 81. Now, 81 times 12 will be equals to 972 centimeter cube. Example 2. Now, look at. This is the length. This is the breadth. This is the height. Once you are able to establish those three, the rest is as simple as A, B, C. Now, using your formula, 1 over 2 times length times breadth times height. That is 1 over 2 times 8 times 4 times 6. 2 year 1, 2 year 4. That is 4 times 4 times 4 times 6. That is 16 times 6. 6 in 6. Six times six, thirty-six. Now your answer is ninety-six. Now your answer is ninety-six. The answer is 96 centimeter cube. This is wrong. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 6 will be 96 centimeter cube. Now, here is an assignment for you to do. A rectangular thing measures 10 cm by 10 cm by 20 cm. What is its capacity in liters? Whatever your answer is in cm cube, you have to convert to liter. Example 2, you have to copy and complete this table. You have the length, the breadth, the height, and the volume. What will be your volume? You have been given volume. What will be your length? You have volume. You have length and breadth. Then what will be your height? Now, there is another one for you to do. You have the height. 
you have the length, the breadth, and the height. Now, summary. The, solid, the volume of a solid is the measure of the space it takes up. Volume is measured in centimeter cube or meter cube, which we have seen. The capacity of a container is the measure of the space inside it. And the basic unit of capacity is the liter. Don't forget, liquid and gases are usually measured in liter and milliliter. The volume of a cuboid equals to length times breadth times height. For cube equals to length raised to power 3. For prism equals to area of end face times height. For further reading, get hold of your new general mathematics, the junior one, page 130. Till I come your way next time, do have a wonderful day.